Hello, avid listeners. You're listening to the Uber Uber. Welcome in. My name's Tom. And I'm Dom. Um, we've got some bad news, I'm afraid. <clears throat> it, it would appear that you're listening to the second best show on Pure FM. That's right. Not first. Second best. <laughs> We are yet again the bridesmaids at the wedding of Radio Gold. Ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! The world, <clears throat> literally the world, is gathered round on their computers, not we, on their actual radios. We were mobbed outside <laughs> the uh, studio this morning on the way through Portsmouth. People cheering and clapping through going in. Um, crying people. They're a woman. A woman uh, set herself uh, oh, on fire yeah. in protest. And then another woman handed me her child and said, please, take my son. And I, so I denied her. So we've got him in the corner in the studio. <laughs> you might be able to see You him. took him? Yeah. Oh, Dom. Yeah. It is um, the launch show for the new year of um, Purifum. Purifum. Um, that name's subject to change. Yeah, I don't like it the... Um, the bit where the male vocals come in in that song. It was quite scary. It always gives me the willies. Mm. I can always imagine... It just... <laughs> it gave him... <laughs> it just... I can just imagine this creepy old man crouching over an eternally bleeding toddler. Oh. It's just a bit... It's, it's just a bit... Like, <laughs> not with children in the room, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pablo. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> They are questionable if, people, if, aren't if they? If you've ever watched Shameless, I would rather live next to the Gallaghers yeah, than that's them, them to be quite I don't honest. know. I think they've got a very open-door policy. I'm not really sure who lives there. No. I mean, I could see some very surly males walk in and out, and then There's some teenage, uh, pregnant teenagers coming in and out. And, uh, well, my only interaction with them was the other day. He went, leant over the fence and went, Excuse me, mate, you got any uh, scissors? I said, yeah, yeah, so I gave them some scissors, and they sat out there in the garden, there was like three of them, for about, like, half an hour, spitting and cutting. cutting. It's kind of like... What, what were they cutting? Well, I think they must be, like, low-budget Jews. <laughs> I love your show, lads, but why aren't there any pictures of you on the website? It's a bit annoying that I have to imagine what you look like when I'm pleasuring myself. Mmm. Mm. Thank you very much, Mike. And how would you describe Dominic? Um, <laughs> specky, four-eyed freak, I guess. And Tom, um, a big gay bear. There we go. Afterwards, we've got one more hour uh, filled with select tunes from Tom. And if you haven't heard that before, well, you're in for a treat. You are. Dom is the official um, leader. What are you, the leader? Oh, this makes it sound like you're in a gang or something. I am. You are? Yeah, I'm in a gang. Your urban gang. Yeah, my urban. Is that what we're calling team. it now? Yep. Care to explain? Um, no. <laughs> Man, them, let me see you keep it show. Man, them, let me see you keep it show. Man, them, let me see you keep it show. With a head, shoulders, knees and toes. I think silence would actually be better. Oh, here he is. Is Timberland it's, on there? It's not them. Yeah. Timberland. Yeah. yeah. He is the most unmodest individual in the world. Every song that he has anything to do with, even if he's just giving out flyers, he will beef. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Justin, why don't you put featuring Timberland? Or maybe I could be in the video as well. I didn't well, know uh, Timberland was Arnold Schwarzenegger's twin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, it's Doom. just, he just appears for like two seconds at the start of songs like, hey, or <laughs> Timberland. Break it down. Do, do, do. Uh, that was um, Kings of Leon featuring Timberland yeah. with You Somebody. See what I mean, though? It, it's, they've lost that kind of roughness about their sound. They're, yeah, all, they they're too the smooth. They've, they're, they've had too much they've baby, Johnson's Baby. Yeah, they've stopped their smoking and drinking and a rock and roll. They're good boys. <laughs> <laughs> I like little girls with frizzy hair. That wasn't a slanderous <laughs> comment. That's, that's Watch With Mother. Maybe you should have watched With Mother, then you'd know what I was talking about. On guard. Um, this is basically the pointless part of the show where we never actually have completed a task <laughs> to this day. 
Let's see him then. Okay. <coughs> what have you got, Thomas? The, the task was to spend a pound and buy the most pointless item from co-op. <laughs> oh. Three, two, one, reveal. What have you got? <laughs> <laughs> I have got easy hem, no sew tape. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell you do. <laughs> Our competition that we always uh, give prizes to. In the <laughs> Without fail. Yeah, in Funhouse style. Some of some people complain they never received their prizes. Well, you know what, well, I actually... I think they're just hoarding them to, those, to sell on eBay. To those people... Um, Don't live in our house. Fairly <laughs> <laughs> uh, cost the easy. Oh, cool. We've done it. We've done it. But we uh, had a baby elephant in here last year, but... Yeah. Um, and it had a... It was juggling fire. But, unfortunately, you can't really... Appreciate it if you're listening no. at home. Cake or death? Uh, cake, please. <gasps> well, we decided that we'd pretty much exhausted every, every, literally everything on the planet when it came to cake or and death. And there was only so many times you could repeat the phrase greased up men or greasy men or yeah. whatever you kept saying every week to make yeah. me look like a fool <laughs> so what well, they're more mm. now sen- a choice of sentences <laughs> choice of sentences if, if you like but, are some um, of are some of them rhyming nah no can be bothered oh, damn. um okay so here we go okay let's go Right. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Lala and Poe, or Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Joe- How is that a sentence? That's a name. <laughs> I can't take down. <laughs> Stop bringing me down at every opportunity. Um, you know what? You're just never going to make it. They're just, long, they're just longer. <laughs> they're not, it's not as snappy. And we've just wasted a good 30 seconds talking okay. about it. Let's go again. <laughs> Joe Wiley, or a horrendous trampling by a herd of frothing at the mouth wildebeest. Um, a horrendous trampling by a herd of frothing at the mouth wildebeests. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake your, your booty. booty. Oh. Shake your booty. Or the African nation, Djibouti. Oh, Djibouti. Granny Smith or Pink Lady. Pink Lady. <laughs> Pim's o'clock or Chico time. And Pim's o'clock. The Spectacled Heroes Movement or the League of Visually Impaired Gentlemen. <laughs> oh, the League of Visually Impaired Gentlemen. <laughs> Skylarks or Mudlarks. Mudlarks. Cake or Death. Oh, cake. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought, they, to be fair, I thought there was going to be something else. No. I forgot the game. <laughs> it shows how long we haven't played that for. A lovely, beautiful baby seal. Or the artist seal. Artist seal. Going to bed with former Barnsley player Eric Tinkler. <laughs> or waking up with David Batty. <laughs> waking up with David Batty. It's got to be. Um, this what Jesus. Oh, I can get away with that. I don't think we could have a pun off about Jesus. Maybe Jesus, Jesus Navas. You mustn't fool around with things like that. But you've got to be careful when making jokes about a racehorse. You never know when they'll take offence. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love that was that a I, pun? Yeah. Oh. I, yeah. I, I was trying to think of a farm pun to impress a woman I met, but I couldn't come up with one I thought would attract her. <laughs> 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 See if this bit works. Okay, track 13, did you say, Dom? Yes, I did. Um, this is just a little boxing type welcoming in for Tom. Okay. This is his uh, entrance music, I think. Brilliant. Yeah. So you're listening to Tom and Dom's Uber Ur, and in the right corner is... Mr. Tom Skinner! Yep, that's me all over, Dom. <laughs> you know what I like. If you played that, if you just played it, then you would have got the gist. It's a welcoming back song. We don't have time for that. We don't have time. <laughs> um, we only have an hour and 45 minutes. And in the left <laughs> corner is Mr. Dom the Spectacles Ryan. The spectacle. Let it shine, just let it shine. <laughs> and that wasn't obvious, was it? Yeah, it made sense to me. Uh, Dom, <laughs> Dom used to work in Morrison's, and you should see his face light up every time a Morrison's. I've even got up. a little dance. 
He's actually got a fully choreographed dance, which now involves. Got, I like the new moves you've added. It's the pushing of the trolley, yeah. air, air trolley, air trolleying, and jiggling about. and jiggling about with it, and then the slapping of the behind yeah. while you're pushing the trolley. It, it mixes in a bit of that Sazda price coming from it. So <laughs> nice pop culture reference, yeah, exactly. and uh, mm-hmm. also what are, what else? Oh yeah, you've incorporated the Vogue into it. Yeah, the Vogue is coming on quite nicely. I think maybe one day I might just do the whole dance. Like a sort of YouTube type phenomenon. Well, if, if the webcams are still working, um, I they pres- are. I presume that's a webcam out there. If uh, you want to see Dom doing the Vogue, then uh, give us a request, and I'm sure I'd be more than happy to get on top of yeah. his chair and do his thing. Definitely. Come on, he, he needs this, guys. It's all he's got. 